Okay, so let's real quickly draw a few interesting Moore circles. Uh, what about this one? What would its Moore's circle look like? Uh, all right, so what do we have? Sigma x, 5, sigma y, 5 tau of 0. So my starting point would be 5 comma 0. 2, 3, 4, 5 comma 0. So there's my starting point. My center would be the average, so my center is also at 5. My radius would be the distance between the center and my starting point. What is the distance between the cent that radius of 0? This one, the Mohr circle, is actually just a dot, just a point. What does that mean? Well, that means... <clears throat> If I change this orientation, it would still have a five, five, five normal stresses and no shear stress. So this is one where there is no um, shear stress. It's uniform normal stresses of five. What are the principal stresses? Five. You know, five and five are the principal stresses. <clears throat> All right, so that was an interesting more circle that was actually a dot. How about this one? All right, so this one... Okay, now I've got different, same magnitude, um, but different values. So, <clears throat> I mean, com one's compression, one's tension. So, sigma x is negative 20, sigma y, positive 20, tau, 0. So, my starting point would be negative 20, 10, 15, 20, 0. Um, my center, though, would be at zero okay so my radius would be the distance between the two so my radius would be 20 so I can start from the center and go to the right 20 to the left 20 up 20 down 20 okay this is just it's still a circle uh, it's centered at zero um, so hey there's no tau at this orientation but if we rotated some, then yes, there would be some tau. All right. So just because there's no shear stress at some orientation, there is shear stress at other orientations. This is the principle. We did one of these. This is a principle orientation right here. It was centered at zero. Usually not centered at zero. Why is it centered at zero? Uh, just because the average of the normal stresses was zero. So some more circles are centered at zero, um, but it only occurs when the average of sigma x and sigma y are zero. Okay, how about this? What if this one is only shear? Only shear. What would this more circle look like? Sigma x zero, sigma y zero, tau of negative 18. All right, so my... Uh, starting point is 0, negative 18, so up here at 18. My center is at 0, right here at 0. So my radius, it does have a radius, 18. If it has a radius, then we've got a circle. Uh, and so I go to the right, 18, to the left, 18, bottom, 18. Okay, so even though, it's an ugly looking circle, even though at this orientation there are no normal stresses, if we rotate it at some orientation, uh, there will be there will be um, nor some normal stresses. Okay, so but we can go through the same process, the same steps: starting point, center, then the distance between the two is the radius. And if you know the center and you know the radius, then you, you've got everything you need. right? You've got everything else in the world to find any point on that circle. All right, so th those are three kind of interesting Moore's circles, but still, starting point, center, and the distance between the two is the radius. Okay?